At the end of January 2023, the annual Art Salon of Contemporary Art was held in Geneva. This was the 11th edition, which was traditionally held at PAL Expo. My sister and I had a happy opportunity to visit this salon. 90 galleries participated, and we could not even imagine the scale of this salon and the number of famous artists. Imagine the scale of works multiplied by 90 participants. And everything is for sale there, and you can buy from Magritte's head to Transformer, if possible. A grandiose salon where you could see the works of iconic masters of our time, such as Jeff Koons, Anish Kapoor, Barry Flanagan, Andreas Gursky, and other equally popular artists. A masterpiece such as Transformer by Louisa Clement and her own avatar. As soon as we lifted up from the first floor, right in the middle of the salon, was Jeff Koons' Bluebird Planter. Koons is best known for his gleaming steel sculptures. He is so popular that I don't think I need to introduce him. Just something to add that he was once again the most expensive living contemporary artist and also scandalous because these two things are always there. This plant is still bird in the salon is just a guest. She decorated this salon. Its owner temporarily placed it in PAL Expo. This bird was not for sale and she was a place of attraction for many photo shoots. The gallery Waddington Casted from London presented sculptures by Barry Flanagan. Barry Flanagan was a British sculptor. He is best known for his bronze statues of hares. They are installed as city sculptures in different parts of the world. The most famous of his hares repeats the pose of Auguste Rodin's sculpture The Thinker. You can challenge yourself to find all the hairs. An installation of several sculptures by the British artist Barry Flanagan in a vast space transformed into a desert. Large leaping hair Flanagan considered this hair, frozen in its graceful lip, to be a symbol of freedom. He knew that in ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, the hair was used to write words like to exist. Large leaping hair is intended to serve a similarly animated life a filming function.
how is Barry Flanagan connected with wine producers in Bordeaux? The chateau has been installed a contemporary artist sculpture over the past 30 years in a particularly successful vintage year. And this magnificent tradition began with Flanagan's giant bronze hair. This is how the Flanagan sculpture is considered the unofficial symbol of the chateau. The salon was attended by the Museum of Modern Art from Baden-Baden. Its founder, Frieder Burda, was a German art collector and honorary citizen of Baden-Baden. We were shocked by what we saw and thought that a real person was sitting on the bench. Fantastically, Transformers, masterpieces of the Friederburda collection in dialogue with artificial beings in the Museum Friederburda. The participating artists Luisa Clement, Ryan Gander, Timur Sitsin and Jordan Wolson are all digital natives. Their biographies and work reflect the growing spheres of influence held by virtual possibilities. I am inviting you to get acquainted with this Louisa Clemens Transformer by Digital Generation, which is her own avatar. Is this real? Louisa Clement lives and works in Germany. She compares the human body to an artificial mannequin, works with virtual reality technologies, blurs the boundaries between multiple realities. Louisa Clement researches artificial intelligence. Transformers mannequins, each of them is unique in their own way. For example, entering into a dialogue with a person, the mannequin gives a variety of answers, adjusting them to a specific case. What else can you see at the temporary exhibition Transformers in the Baden-Baden Museum? What works did not come to the art salon, but the only broadcast on the screens? An animatronic white mouse speaks to a candle by Ryan Gander. Ryan Gander is a British artist who has created many works of art in various forms. Additionally, Gander curates exhibitions, has worked as an educator at art universities, and has written and presented television programs on and about contemporary art and culture for the BBC. He was elected Royal Academician in the category of sculpture. This work is a reflection of empathy which in his view is a, a kind of superhuman power, perhaps 
even the most important human quality that exists, especially in our age. Empathy is a superhuman power. This terrifying figure was not presented at the art salon. The male figure by Jordan Wilson and all the transformers that I just presented can be seen at a temporary exhibition in the Baden-Baden Museum until the end of April 2023. Jordan Wilson is an American artist. He has worked in video and film, in sculptural installation and in virtual reality. Wilson explores the most disturbing facets of the human personality. The visitors be seduced by a figure that provokes subjective and objective reactions, equally stimulating and repelling the viewer. The work addresses the violence of objectification. In 2019, Art News and Artnet News listed female figure as one of the artworks that defined the decade. Literally, objectification is about how a person is turned into a thing. At the Salon, the Frida Burda Museum presented three works by famous photographer Gursky and not without reason. What brings Gursky's works closer to Transformers? They are brought together by digital technologies. Andreas Gursky is a German photographer and professor. He is known for his large format architecture and landscape color photographs, often using a high point of view. Retrospective Gursky made a digital montage against the background of a painting by Barnett Newman and placed the four German chancellors in this work. It's easy to recognize Merkel in it. Simons Karlsruhe. He created the image of globalism and capitalism, photo of the Siemens factory, a consumer society that creates patterns. Many people want the same things. Lembrook, the first variant. And this work is about the museum. On the contrary, about the individuality of exhibits that do not create patterns. I mean, single uh, sculptures like single people who don't create crowds and patterns. The composition is made on the basis of the photo, plus Gursky added there the sculpture of Neo Rauch, which is not actually in the Lemberg Museum. I think it's uh, for this reason that the museum designed its space in the salon in this way. I mean, this dialogue between an artificial creature and the masterpieces of the museum's collection. We realized how museums are changing today in comparison to the traditional sculpture versus the transformer by digital generation. Frida Buddha Museum, this is definitely the most outstanding stand that we saw at this salon. So I gave it a lot of attention. Until we meet again, I would be most glad if you liked the video.